459. We have someone that's also somewhat intuitive, emotional, introspective, and withdrawn, but that nine brings together a, a, a tri-type we are familiar with. This is triple withdrawn. This is someone that is so deeply introspective that they're studying and trying to understand the world and life and people and things from a distance. They are intuitive, knowledgeable, and accepting. They want to be original. They seek wisdom, and they want peace. They can be so vulnerable to the energy and the influence of others that they withdraw. And in the withdrawing, they don't recognize, and what's not clear to them is that they are choosing to do that even if it makes other people uncomfortable. There isn't anything in them that says, ooh, I need to help this person understand I'm not withdrawing because of them. There can almost be a pride in their introverted nature, and they're often deeply introverted. If they're not, then it's very confusing to them because their stance is back. If you move towards them, they move away. And they can be somewhat critical of you without realizing it because they don't want to be invaded. They don't want to be bombarded. So they will send out energy and like little barriers to keep you from invading their space. And in so doing, can be off-putting and not even know it. I mean, they're completely unaware of it. They're easily flooded with emotion, and it's difficult for them to voice their ideas and feelings. So they want to tell you what's going on. They want to share what their insights are, but they can feel really inhibited, especially if they have a Myers-Briggs type that complicates that. Their life mission is to delve deeply into the mysteries of life and share their insights with others. This is the true philosopher and they're happiest when they can write about their discoveries rather than speaking about them, because they could be thrown off. Whereas the eight will say, nope, this is my opinion and this is why, and I'm, and I'm not listening to another viewpoint, or this is what I've learned. The nine creates a dynamic where the person is more uncertain and, and slower in pace and not as comfortable sharing what they've discovered, but they can write about it, and quite well. And they're trying to make sense of the world. For them, it's a never-ending quest. This is also true with the 469, who's trying to understand themselves, and like, who am I? Well, this type, it's not as much on who am I, although that's an important piece. It's the mysteries of the world. And they can be so focused on this inner world, and their and what they're feeling and sensing and reacting to, that they can appear or behave in a way that's indifferent and just be silent. They'll even know that it makes people feel uncomfortable, but they don't know what to do about it. And what they don't see is that they come across as moody, and what is disowned is that they expect others to come towards them, especially with self press and they're almost a little irritable when others don't. Even though they're all also putting up these signposts saying, do not cross this line. So that's what's confusing to them and to others. They're the most introspective type on the Enneagram. They think deeply, deeply about everything and are quite wise in a, in a way that the other types might miss because they're so internally focused. They can also, as kids, feel really picked on because of that triple uh, withdrawn nature. And yet internally they're screaming, leave me alone, I didn't do anything to you. But they don't realize that not responding can make people that are overly in need of response act out against them. It's, uh, the same can happen with the uh, 469. We'll see this with both. And yet the scream will be internally. They really are 
the scream because they won't voice it unless they're in a really private, safe situation, regardless of the instinct. And so you can see there's a lot of uh, hiding that goes on. Yet at the same time, they want the finer things in life, but they're identified with their shyness.